Welcome back guys. Uh, I'm out here on the trap line. Uh, I checked the dog proofs and two of the Yodi traps. Didn't get nothing and I'm coming around to the Yote trap that I uh, I recorded the other night. I got me a real nice, I got me another nice coon. Look at him. Real nice coon. So I'm going to get off here. I got the I got the trapping pistol with me today. I don't have the nine, so it's nice. I also got the muzzle loader with me because it is muzzle loader season. But I'm gonna take a picture of this guy and get him dispatched and get on to the next set. I'm gonna have to come back here in a day or so and remake this set. So talk to y'all later. Bye. Okay, well, I'm back. I haven't put them out yet, so I'm going to record, turn the camera away, put them down, and bring you back. I'm going to get them out of the trap, but uh, I'm going to leave them here. I don't have my cart with me, so I'm going to have to come back with the cart and pick them up and see what I got in the other two traps. So, here we go. You're fine, big guy. This is where they normally lunge. <laughs> Get flat. Buddy, you're not going to like me when I get a decent shot. <laughs> Either turn broadside or give me a headshot. You ain't going to like me. You can get onto that briar. Down here. <laughs> you won't let me do this. You're caught good. You're not going nowhere. All right, I need to quit pissing around. Well, guys, that's officially my first catch in a dirt hole. So I'm quite happy about that, even though it was a coon. So that marks three coons now. He's good size, too. Oh, you're fine. All right, guys, well, I'm going to get him out of the trap, and I'm going to move up to the other two, check them two, go back to the house, get the cart, come pick this guy up, and get him skinned out and bagged up and in the freezer. So, three coons so far. Two days. I'm, I'm ecstatic.
So I'll see you on the next trap, guys. As I'm walking up to my last one, I think this one might have got discovered. Oh no, it's just a leaf. So I thought that one got dug out for a second. So there is the last trap on the line. Which that dirt still looks real good. It's still real dry in the center. Um, don't look like we have any new tracks up through here. Yeah, which I thought this would be real nice because them yotes normally come from right across there behind that house or over there where we got that coon. Now, see, that's the last one in the line. And I started here. Well, I walked up here first. I didn't even look at this one up here. Because I got to walk back this way anyways. Here I go to the furthest one and walk back. Oop. There's a yoke track. That's fresh. That wasn't here yesterday. My brother and I scanned... I don't know how you can see that. That which, I mean, that trap's right up there. And I got another one just right here. I gotta go get more dirt. As soon as I get more dirt, I'll probably put another one somewhere right up in here. Well, we were thinking about somewhere right up in here. Or... Uh, over by the blind. Let's see, where's that other one? <laughs> I just put these in yesterday. I wasn't even paying attention where I put them in. Did I already walk past it? No. It's right here. Not sure it's a nice game trail that runs across there. You can see. There it is there. Which I, you know, trying to use natural backing. Just how stuff lays, however it lays. That's kind of how I tuck it up in there. Um, I got the coon that I schooned out last night and I got this fresh one now. I might butcher them down into smaller pieces and come out here and kind of bait it with some fresh meat and see if that might help something. Which I should be real quiet. I should probably go pull that trail cam card so I can see what's been on the trail cam for the last week. So if I drop the phone, guys, I'm sorry. I'm trying to shoot a deer. That'd be cool to double down. me and a deer today. I'd have been better if there was a coyote in one of them traps. So much better. Where's my... Did I miss it? No. God damn. Having all kinds of problems today. I don't know if anybody was wondering, which I'm going to have to end this video quick, but uh, anybody's wondering, I'm using a Heritage 22 5 inch barrel, 6 shot, 6 shot single action, it is a very cheap, reliable trapping gun, which now, I don't know if you can see my handle of that, yeah, focus, focus, yeah, there you go. Got notches in the handle. My dad calls me retarded for it, but uh, 
everything that I take out with it, coons and traps and stuff like that. I uh, put a little notch in it. That's sad. Oh. I get the little damn thing out. It's not the best trail cam, but it takes pictures. Oh, I got a new rub there. Or at least that's the rub I just noticed. We got little rubs all over the place that are new. We jumped a buck in here the other day when we were putting the card in. Oh, I gotta go get a card, get warmed up. I want to drink another cup of coffee. Go pick that coon up. I know for a fact I don't have enough dirt to redo that trap. I'm not even going to attempt it right now. I have to go up, back up to the barn this evening or first thing tomorrow. And uh, I'll have to get more dirt yeah that's what i was saying but i'm gonna cut this off here guys i love y'all thanks for tuning in thanks for watching my video sorry that the last little bit of this has just been me pissing around but it's a normal day for me i mean mine is having nine traps out or eight traps out right now that which when as soon as i go to get dirt i got a foothold coon trap that i'm putting in down at the campsite and with the coyote tra activity that we have over here, I don't know if I want to put one, one more on this line or if I want to come down to this waterway because they like to walk up this waterway and cut over. Or when they're coming the other way, that's the way they go. Because they go over to this field here. And they go over towards the pond and stuff like that. So I don't know. <sighs> But all the DP traps look good. The other two footholds look good. Them two footholds look good. So it's going to kind of be a bummer not having that one up and running tonight. Unless I just walk my fat ass up there and get a bucket. I really don't feel like doing that. So, all right, guys, I'm going to get off here. I will see y'all in a bit later.